Hello everybody, my name is Andy and I do animation for Epic Cow 2 and one of the things that I've worked on over the year is learning how to make these 3D kind of people. Put the gun down! Don't do nothing uh, I'm just a kidnapper! Leave me alone! <laughs> wonderful about Element 3D is you can make them and then save them as presets. So you got this guy. Maybe you've seen this punk. Punk-ass teenager. with that hair. And what I'll do... Oh, well, I'll show you how to do that stuff later. What I really want to show you today is how to rig the people so they can be walking and kind of moving around like that. Hey, look at that. Recognize that guy. He cleaned himself up a little bit, though. Got rid of the facial piercings. This is him at about, I don't know, 27. He's getting a job. He's still got the backwards hat, but uh, but he's not as crazy as he was back in college. Anyways, that is not important. But what I'm going to do is show you how to make just a basic character. First thing we're going to do is create one of these things, these capsules. We want it to be longer because we want it to be like an arm or a leg and then let's uh, round it out a little bit more like this maybe you bring it down a little like that okay now what we want to do is make the anchor point be at the bottom so now this way whenever we move it around it'll kind of feel like it's on a joint like that and let's duplicate this so now we have two identical looking groups but if you take this one actually let's take the copy one and bring it in here now this we'll rename it elbow we can bring up here and now Everything that this top group does right here, this one has to do, no matter what. So let's bring it down to 90 degrees to the side. And if we want now, look at this. We got like an elbow. Guess we should probably bring it all the way to the edge there. But now, look at this. Hi. And if you take that, and then you... Bring it over to this side. Now we got two different arms. Call this one right arm, left arm. So now this is the master group and everything that this one does, everybody has to do. So let's add another capsule, but this one's going to be the body. So by hitting R, it brings up that option, this one, where you can reshape it. And let's make it kind of kind of big like that. So now it's starting to look kind of like something. And you know, these arms are not proportionate to the body, but that's okay, because it's a cartoon. We got this, and one of the great things about having this as its own group is now if we wanted to make a little, like a little hand, could go like that. Now every time that we move this, it has that, or you can put something in the hand or whatever, but let's get rid of it for right now. Let's duplicate this arm now. I'm going to bring it down here. And we got some legs. But before we duplicate it, legs aren't the same as arms. Everybody's legs are fat. So let's add some of that fat. Fat legs. I don't know what this guy's name is yet. We're going to have to name him before the end of this.
Alright, so right now it's kind of looking good. Kind of. One of the other tricks I like to do is add a little torso area down here. So it kind of helps us get away with some wiggle room. So let's bring it up like that. Let's call this right leg. Left leg. And now as you can see, if we wanted to, we could start walking around, kicking, jumping jacks. And I've got some of these different textures. So you start to add these things. We got some blue jeans, pretty relaxed. Let's give him a t-shirt. And now we have kind of a basic person. Bring that up and uh, there we go. So now one of the things that you got to do, this is where everything gets tedious, is you bring in and you start adding all these different animation channels to all the different appendages. All right. Let's bring this down a little bit so you can see it. Rotate it around. And now, if you go into auxiliary channels and you move these, you can see we're in business. That's not doing anything. All right. So now, we're just like chicken dance but then running see that and you can just let's start back here rotation and about one second let's bring it way up here and two seconds let's do this how does this look that's way too fast or way too slow that's not how it works. So if we got this, then go over to channel three, which I made this arm. I will make it look All right, so now we got this all set up. Modify this now on a second. He's going to be running for his life. So now if I just take these and uh, copy and paste them on all these seconds, it should start making a loop. So look at this. Now we apply the same idea to the legs and you got this person running. But one thing that you got to remember is the torso.
Right now, it's set to be right in there in his chest. Now, that would be ridiculous. So, let's bring it down here. Kind of right there. Right there in the dip. Bring these legs. Don't bring those legs. Bring those arms. And bring the head. And bring the chest. So now, whenever you move this, he's able to do the locomotion. We're going to take this and name this number 10. Not name it. We still have to figure out a name for this guy. Ugh. Right now he looks kind of like a Jesse, you know? But let's give him some more personality later. All right, so we got to go up here to number 10. And you see you can go back and forth. But just to show you a little technique of what I like to do is you alt-click and go wiggle. Uh, two to the 14th power, whatever that means. So look at this. Now, he just kind of randomly is shimmying like that. Now, it doesn't make too much sense with the way that it looks right now, but once you get a lot of motion going on in there, it's going to look pretty good. Up here, you can see kind of what he's doing. But if you add kind of some of these wiggles... It just kind of mixes things up a little bit. And it's not as much work while still getting the same kind of effect. Might not look perfect, but this is that by Cow too. It's not, it's not Pixar. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty dumb. All right, now let's go in here to the legs. One thing we can actually do here, and no, let's not do that. Now, let's work through it. All right, we got channel five. We'll make this channel six, channel seven, and channel eight. Make a camera, because we haven't done that yet. I like to do things out of order a lot of times. Adding cameras is one of the first things you should probably do, but we're living dangerously. Channel 5, is that is that the one that I was doing? Well, the best way is to find out which one it is and make it huge. Oh, yeah, the leg. So, we move this. Up. While bringing that knee down. And do the opposite one for this. So now, if you take our camera, kind of rotate around it, you'd see that he is mid-run. All right, we're going to start this loop at one second because that's where I started the, you know, the loop. Okay. Now let's bring this back like this. And even if we want to be really lazy about it, we could go like that. Just these two keyframes. Over and over and over. These easy E's, that's what you... Uh, 
That's what you got to do. In order to make it look kind of natural, you know? That doesn't look natural. But it looks good enough. So now, if you take the master, the group, and you kind of at about 15 seconds, bring it up like this, or 15 frames. Let's see how this looks. Looks pretty dumb. Looks pretty dumb. But you know what? Maybe what we'll do is do a little wiggle! We're going to have it every, twice a second and go for 100. Look at that. Now it's the running of the bulls. Oh my god. His leg. It got taken out by a bull at the end of this thing. Did you see this? Grabbed by a bull. What are you going to do? He loses his leg. Well, that's going to be for another epic how-to. Uh, so that's kind of the basics of that. And then if you want to put some sort of scene around him. So he's moving around and you can see that. We'll save that for another episode of Animating with Andy. But let me just show you kind of the gist of it. Now, you bring this in here, scale it up a bit, we got this and I'm going to make him run right through this, because I have one animation channel left. So now, go down here to channel 9. Position it, and as he's running, wait a second, it's not the right position. So now he's going to be running past all these things. We really should make him run faster. So we're not even changing him, we're just changing this background. By doing this... It appears that he's running a lot faster, even though he's not running actually at all. And if we wanted to, we could make these into different buildings, or he could be running underneath a bridge here. Uh, but ultimately, he's not actually running at all. Oh, there's the bull. He's got his leg. That is the gist of animating these different people. Hey, come on, keep on watching Epic How To and loving it, because I enjoy doing this kind of stuff for you guys, so thank you for watching, see you later, live from New York at Saturday night.